All right, we're back to our regularly scheduled programming at Tone Devil Guitars YouTube channel. So thank you guys for joining us here. Um, uh, I've got a bunch of stuff going on in the shop today. Uh, let's see here. One of the main things I wanted to talk to you guys about was this top. I just braced it yesterday. And um, so this is going to be the top of Dave's new harp guitar. Um, Dave and I are building him a brand new harp guitar. It's going to be super awesome. It's going to have a bunch of cool features on it, such as a cutaway. That'd be the first thing, so you can't really see it there. I'll sh show you the. Uh, oh, oh. All right, as you saw there, I took all the go bars off, and and you can see the uh, the bracing design in here. This is for the cutaway, so it has an angled fingerboard brace. The fingerboard comes in here, and uh, this brace supports the fingerboard. And then there's the X brace. It's a modified X brace, tapered. And uh, we've got three finger braces over on the base side just to add a little extra support there. But um, this is some of the nicest quality wood that we have in the shop. This is uh, the uh, Sitka spruce that we got from Arvid Lundin. And that's probably some of the tightest grain Sitka spruce. It's, it's some really, really old aged Sitka. And um, we got a great big huge beam of it, cut it all up into harp guitar sized tops, and we're kind of hanging on to that. That's pretty much some of our most premium quality wood for instrument making. Uh, Dave went ahead and did the rosette on this uh, um, top. He decided to go with a uh, couple of purfling strips, and then also the zip flex shell, abalone shell inlay around there, and of course the uh, small sound hole. So there you have it. Uh, sounds like Dave just got to the shop, so. We'll check in with him and uh, talk to you a little bit more about Dave's $10,000 luthier harp guitar he's building for himself. Um, <clears throat> the rim assembly. So Dave's been working on this one for a while. And uh, so here's the, the that one piece black walnut back. Isn't that gorgeous? I mean, a giant slab of walnut that big is pretty rare. Normally we have a, a book match right down the middle of it here. And uh, so super excited for Dave's brand new harp guitar. There's the cutaway. He's got this gorgeous set of walnut side side rim for it. Uh, here's the, um, this is the sharping lever harp head. So it's got a little extra notch over here that allows us to, a little bit extra space to fit the sharpening levers on it. So, um, all right. Yeah. And yesterday also, my mom was able to show up to the shop today. So um, we got her uh, going, making a whole nother box full of laser curved lining. So thanks mom, if you're watching. Uh, this laser curved lining is super, super radical. I'm gonna go ahead and use a little bit of it right now. Dave, you're getting a brand new harp guitar. Luthier builds $10,000 harp guitar for himself. This will be the new top here. I don't know if Tone showed it to you, but it looks like he's already done the bracing. I had him kind of thin down the braces just a little bit. I kind of want them a little bit lighter. I think there's a little bit of scalloping we're going to do on these back couple. On the, the, the X brace. What's the technical term for the back half of the X brace? It's like the... Oh. Bottom side of the X well, brace, anyway. This is what's called a modified tapered X brace. So yeah, yeah and then so, so just these last, the back, the back side of it, we tend to put some little scallops. All right, today I'm going to also be carving a neck. This will be a left-handed harp guitar neck. So I had to come up with a new design for it, cut a new neck. Uh, right now I'm setting the Z-height. This is my roughing bit. This is a great big, huge half-inch um, flat-headed spiral two-flute steel bit, stainless steel. I, I don't think this is the high speed steel. It might be the high speed steel. It's a very expensive bit anyways. Um, it's getting a little bit dull. I need to buy another one of these bits. So right now I'm gonna set the Z height. I just press my button. This sets the origin of the Z at the bottom of the neck here. So there you can see it just touched down on this little plate here. Put it back up here. And now I can move the head back. I'm just gonna go ahead and hit origin because I already orig origined it to the 
spot here where it's going to be zeroed out. So I just want to double check that I did that and it looks like yes I did. We set our Z0 so this thing is ready to cut now and I'm going to turn that block of wood into this. This is what it's going to come out like afterwards. There's a couple little ridges you can see at the toolpath leaves but that's just quick work on the orbital sander. Um, so this yeah. is a 12 string guitar neck? Yeah, our customer's actually ordering both. He's ordering just a standard 12 string lefty and then a 12 string harp guitar left handed. Both, and so we're kind of building them tandem together here. And uh, yeah, I just got this design done and this cut out really nice yesterday. So now I get to do the harp version, which has an asymmetrical heel. And uh, looking forward to cutting that out. So that'll be next. Nice clean heel here. No blowouts, look at that. Nice clean edge there. Sometimes I get the blowout right here, but didn't do that this time. I think I got my toolpath figured out. No blowouts over here either. Looks great. Real good looking neck here. Nice. Usually there's a blowout right here, but look at that nice sharp corner. Wow, a little bit of some dull blade blow off there, but that'll sand off, no problem. Very nice. Do one more of these. All right, so the mo moment of truth here, we're just about to glue the top on Dave's harp guitar. So uh, this will be the end of our video today, folks. So thank you for joining us, and uh, we'll uh, see you on the next one.
Hi, Michelle. How are you doing? Hey, everyone. Well, as you can see, this is my little workstation here where I get to do my medical billing. I got a lot of stuff that I'm billing <laughs> out. Yeah. And um, I'm getting, I'm settling in right along here in, Flo in Idaho. Oh, my God. No more Florida. Yeah. Yep, so listening to music, I'm rocking out and working and getting myself all caught up with my with my work and making sure that my clients are happy and I'm happy. Yes, and you are happy, aren't you? Yeah. Yes, we're both happy. <laughs> yeah. Yep, so as you can see, I'm well settled. <laughs>